know, as I was editing this, um, I realized I did a lot of problem solving with it. So let's just let them get to the video. Okay. All right, so I got Colt and Buddha with me and uh, we're gonna go down to O'Reilly's so I can get the alternator tested because I was talking with my buddy and we went over the same wiring stuff that he did with his alternator and it's still not working. So I'm gonna go to O'Reilly's, get it tested and let's see what happens. Okay, so good news, the alternator is banned. I explain why nothing's charging. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm going to car, hey, did it going to CarQuest to see if I had like any warranty or anything on it to exchange that out to get another one but if I don't then I just got to buy another one and then everything we good to go so let's go see all right I got the new uh, <coughs> one on and it's charging 13.3 let's check the pulsing meter So as you guys saw, I don't know if you guys could hear me, but on the Terminator system, now the voltage is up to 13.3, 13.2. And when we compare it against the multimeter, the alternator over there is pushing out, I think it was like 14.4, 14.5 volts. And the Terminator was, like I said, was reading 13.3, 13.2. 
And then when we went to the back to check the battery, that was also running at 13.3. So then that right there tells me that the alternator is charging the system. So we got that situated. And I also noticed, I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but the, the uh, Snow Badger is starting to run better. It sounds better now that it has full power up to 13 volts and everything's going good. I figured out the wiring for it as well. And then we'll go over the wiring here in a little bit too. Here's the beauty. Yep. So now with the wiring here, painless, I bought this plug for painless. This one does not go anywhere. The brown one is a factory wire from GM and that goes to my ignition source. So what I did is I ran this pink wire down to here because this pink wire that's in the harness goes to my painless system that sends 12 volts to my system or to my fuse panel here. So when I hook that up to the alternator, that's telling the alternator, okay, power on, you need power. And then this 10 gauge is the wire that's on the back of the alternator that's getting sent to my main cutoff switch in the back that's gonna supply power to the battery. And you wanna do it on the cutoff side because if something happens and race officials need to turn your car off, they need to cut power to everything. So regardless if the engine does a runaway, which doesn't really happen to gas, but more for diesels, um, you can cut power, cuts power to the alternator, cuts power to everything, and a whole engine will turn off. So right now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go and get all the wires buttoned up, get the right connectors on it, run it through Snow Badger to the back, and then we'll retest everything to make sure everything's good, all the proper grounds are there. So let's go ahead and do that. I got everything cut. As you see right here, this generally goes underneath the car like that. So I cut that out because these knobs right there from the mold were hitting the uh, inner cooler. And then also right up here, I cut this out. So then my brackets right there could slide underneath. You can see it right there how they're cut up top and then the same thing on the other side but here i'll take this down and i'll show you all right so you see i cut all this out on the inside and then this used to be a lip that came up and went over and then over here too so i cut all down along the side cut this stuff out out and down and then same thing over here, cut so then my brackets could slide in there and be done. That's all I had to do was just cut that center section out there and then cut that stuff down. I'm probably going to have to put holes in here eventually because how high that sits and only like this part of the intercooler is going to be on there. But we'll see how the airflow adjusts when I get it tuned because I may have to cut that open more. But all right, it's on. You can see it underneath there. But honestly, it hides it pretty well. Unless you're looking for it. Not really going to know, but the hood's going to get away because all it's going to stick up. But everything came out really nice and I like it. It's finally coming together. Next, I'm going to do the coolant system, get that put in. And then I'm going to turn it on to try to get the charging system situated. And then see about wiring in the lights. So now I'm going to go ahead and start the car. I have just a brown wire connected to the ignition on and then I'm also have the back of here connected to the starter so hopefully that charges and then I did this right filled this all the way up connected it over to the side got the fan so let's make sure everything's going to run first I'll run it for a little bit to see if that's actually charging and uh let's just go ahead and do this. All right, so I had power, fuel pump on, 
Yep. Let's see, electric fan. Yep, that works. So it looks like everything's holding. I don't know why <coughs> my fuel pressure is like that. And then the battery's holding there. Oil pressure looks good. Fuel pressure not great. I gotta come back to that. Oil pressure's good. That's going down. Fuel AFRs are good. All right, let's go out there and take a look. Because what I did underneath is when I connected the blue wire on, it was supposed to be on that one, it's on now, but it was actually on the one with the blue paint tip, which is a goddamn ground. So now I have it on the positive one. So now let's see if it works. All right, let's try this again. All right, well now I connected it to there, which that wire goes to the red and white wire. I think that powers that, the ECU. So let's see if that does anything, because maybe this needs to tell it to start charging or something. So let's, let's figure that out. Yeah, there's something going on. I don't know how to hook up the alternator to charge the battery for some reason. And I thought I figured it out and I didn't. Um, I gotta do some more research on it and I need to know like how it's gonna work because I got the painless system powering everything and then it has to go back to the ECU for something like tell it needs to charge or something so it doesn't over voltage um, yeah so I gotta figure that out subscribe to the channel because once we get this figured out then we're gonna be able to uh, drive it around hopefully I should have a drive shaft soon all right let's try it again so I got everything good to go. I'm actually gonna ground this and see if that helps out if in any way. Well, that didn't work. Unless, I, mean, I really don't know. It's I don't know why I'm in such a big trouble with this. It's a simple thing. Um, I'll have to figure this out and keep going with it. So stay tuned. 